the case of staves versus staves. You all have been together for four years. You're married. <laughs> but whether this marriage goes any further depends on what happens in this courtroom today. Is that right, Ms. Staves? Yes, Your Honor. You've opened this case. Tell us why. Um, I'm here because I'm... I'm for sure that my husband is cheating. I just called him, texting some chick, saying, I love you. So I looked over, and I was like, you love somebody? And he was just like, oh, that's not what it is. You read it wrong. Like, I got two eyes. I can see. Two Who times. you tell her I love you to? Yeah, Honor, I wasn't... It wasn't even I love you. It was... It said I miss you. So who are you conversing with saying I love you, I miss you, or... Either one. What other term of affection you want to use? Oh, uh, it was a co-worker that I was working with. Unless your co-worker is her. And is, it wasn't. Is, is, it, is she your co-worker? No. no. Oh, come on, Mr. Staves. This is, this is, this is couples court 101. Close case. If you write a co-worker talking about I miss you, I love you, <laughs> what else is she gonna think? I mean, I, I mean, I'm not. You know, I'm you're, not... You, you're going by what your shirt says. <laughs> you, gotta me, you gotta feel me, you know? So, um... Have you had sex or any contact with this co-worker, Mr. Staves? No, no, not really. I, I, I was... I was... We, we might, we might, we might hung out and I might say some flirtatious stuff, maybe, you know? But... Have you kissed her? No. Have you touched her? Oh, uh, no, I didn't. All right. So, Ms. Stays, you found us I love you text. What other warning signs have you seen? Um, well, we used to go on dates, like, every Friday. Now we, had, like, ever since we got married, like, for the last three years, we haven't really... We haven't been on no dates. We used to have sex, like, two, three times a day, and now well, we might have it once a week, if that. Okay, oh, here's man. the thing. No dates? You said no dates for no the last three years? For three years, we've been on dates, but they seem like they, they're not good enough or... Like, we just try to start trying to recently go out to, like, concerts and stuff, so I've be, I been wanting to be able to do that for her, you know what I'm saying, as if she did, as if she did for me before, you know? So I'm, like, trying to work on... Our it, last you know, date and... was a concert three years ago. That, I, I, said... And I took him on that date. She said... Hey, man, for real, to be honest, if you're going to do the whole dating thing, if you're going to do the dating and relationship thing... Bro, make sure you keep dating her. Even after y'all get married and the kids and all of that stuff, like, take her out. Take her, you know, whatever y'all like to do. It don't always got to be nothing crazy. You can take her for Well, I ain't going to get y'all my sauce, but listen, man, take her out. Make sure y'all keep dating, man. Saying ain't nothing, ain't nothing to appreciate. She's like, there is no dating, so there's nothing for me to appreciate. Which makes me want to go, okay, yeah, you like, said three, you haven't gone on one, you used to do this kind of stuff. Yeah. What was it like when you used to do this? What was, oh, the, we what was the beginning fun, like? like? It used to be the time where he just, like, pop up at the house and be like, oh, I want to, I want to take you somewhere, or he'd be like, oh, I got a secret for you, and then it really, it, like, two seconds later, he's like, okay, I can't keep it, I want to take you out on a date, this is what we're going to do. I end up getting pregnant with our oldest daughter, uh, and, um, a couple of, like, like a year or two later, he, on Halloween, he proposed to me, him and my daughter got on one knee, and she asked me would I marry her daddy. Oh, and, that's, um, that's how that's how we met. That's how we became a couple and married. So it was kind of sweet. You all, were yeah, friends. we used to be you... really close and really had a lot of fun together and loved each other. And I don't know, all the fun is just gone. It just seemed like we do just arguing all the time. And so, Mr. Stays, what it sounds like to me is. When you were trying to get her, your game was up here. Yeah. And then once you yeah. got her, you kind of dropping your game a little bit. Yeah. Is that well, is that right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, but it's it's not even right. it's not that's right, but it's it's a lot of things that came with it. She did she did stuff like bleach my clothes, you know what I'm saying? And that was I mean, before I was even that. cheating or anything. She she accused me of, of Before a, you were cheating. cheating. Yeah, she you know like before you were cheating. Yeah, like like you know what I'm saying? Before she Look, accused just... me of cheating. I'm sorry. That's why I meant to put it like that. Like uh, you didn't want to come that. Can you know get shot up a little bit? The old the it was a chick that we knew, you know what I'm saying, both in a town that we moved to, and she thought I was still seeing her and everything. And I was Because you asked about her. Because I went asked by about her. House. her. Yeah, I asked about her from a, about with my own friend and it was just a uh, nonchalant, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, man, I used to, you know what I'm saying, know her like this and that, but I don't know if she still stay over there. That's how I said it. But he went back as if, 
you know, I was still looking for her. We went by our house and all that type of stuff. But it wasn't even that case, you know? So, Miss Stays, so why did was... you bleach his clothes? Because when I asked about it, he was lying. What did you ask him about? I asked him why he was trying to go. Why was he even worried about that girl? Like, you, I think well, he was over there seeing the girl. So, so I bleached when you... his clothes. Okay, I got to say, right. once you bleach a man's clothes, he's going to be less inclined to want to take you out on a date. I'm just saying. I, okay, I'm, that was I'm like not gonna one have incident. I'm going to take out in. <laughs> it was... <laughs> trying to figure that out. He said he ain't got nothing to put. He ain't got nothing to wear. He got clothes to wear. <laughs> okay, so we know you have these warning signs. Yes. These things that are making you think something's amiss. But what do you have that shows he's well, cheating. Um, well, one day I had, like, he went missing and I couldn't, like, get a hold of him. So okay. he told me where he was staying at. So I called that person and was like, hey, is uh, DeAndre over there? He said no. So oh. I called my homegirl and I was like, okay, something's up. You hold know. on, let me ask you something. Had y'all had a falling out? Um, we had an argument, yeah. Okay, so he yeah. is, he's left to cool off. Yeah. All right. Or so so he said. All right. And so I called my uh, my best friend. I was like, we it's submission time. So let's it's you know. Art, man. I'm telling up, you. Let's go. It's what time? It's mission time. I'm mission time. You. Okay. Woo <laughs> ooh. Um. So my friend pulled up. I was like, all right. We get in the car, and I was like, just. I was like, we were supposed to go to the store, and she wanted to go to the store way out. So I said, no, I want to go to the store closer by. And I'm telling you, it's God, because God works in mysterious ways in my life, honey. I pull up. Before I can even turn off my car, I see DeAndre coming out the store. And some, I, so I look beside me. It's a chick in this car. I said, so when he see me, he see my best friend, he already know what's going on. There's a woman in his car? Uh, no, in her car. It's in her car, but it was only two, it was only three cars. It was the car that pulled up with me, and my car and this car aside, and here come DeAndre just strolling out. So he sees you. He seen me and he took off into the car. Well, I'm, he's I'm, running. Yes, like he kind of sped up because he knew he <laughs> knew it's back to pop. He back. It's, so I open the door. You open the car door. Yes, and I drug him out. Oh. You physically drug him out of the car. Yes. Oh, how'd you do that? Did you grab him by the shoulders? No, I grabbed him by his hair. <gasps> oh, real dragon. Oh. She actually dragged you out of your car she by your hair. She dragged me out the car. I, I, didn't, I didn't even see her. Like, I, was, I, was, I came out on, on a whole different mission. But she'll swear <laughs> up and down. She'll swear up and down that, you know what I'm saying, I seen her and I tried to run to the car and jump in. Mr. Stays, for those of us who want to know what happened next? We get back in the car, we leave. I can't get a hold of him. We not like he 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 didn't come home. He didn't go like you still then didn't a go home. After, after you caught yeah, red handed you didn't was, go home. The girl was my friend. You know what I'm saying? She, of course she was. She took they she always text, friends. She me a ride back and forth to work. You know what I'm saying? Trying to help me out. You know what I'm saying? Because I was. Is this the same friend you miss or slash no, love? No, it's not. Oh, it's a different one. It's a different Different co-worker. Yeah, this... Have you ever told her you miss a lover? Man, listen, if it's one thing that I do know, man... <laughs> hey, co-worker or not, man, listen... <sighs> it's court time. No, I didn't. I did not. Did she see you get dragged out the car? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, baby was yeah. scared. She circled, she circled back, you know what I'm saying, just to see what's out. Oh, she pulled right. off and left you? Yeah, she, she pulled out. <laughs> Yo. Oh, Mr. Cat, look at no choice. Hold on. Mr. Oh, Cat, look she didn't have no choice. Hold on, Mr. Cutler. She drags him out by the hair. Homegirl leaves him. <laughs> oh, she's she like, like, no choice. Deuces. Yeah. It's not it's but she did come back at some point. She's just like, to probably look and see if yeah. he was okay. Wait, wait. Wait. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is yeah, so weird. just trying to make sure I was cool, you know what I'm saying? Cause so you say nothing happened? Yes. You you are uh, not guilty? Yes, Sean. Right. Yeah, that, that, that's what you and your shirt say. Yeah. So we'll yeah, see. Yeah, that's what y'all say. Because I'm like... Have you caught your husband in any other, uh, yes. what's the word, compromising situations? Yes, I've caught him in several compromising situations. Uh, we had a neighbor, she's a hoe, and <laughs> I... Okay, I, here, I oh, understand I'm sorry, how Yana. you feel. Oh, I, just, I feel you. I understand how you feel. But let's just call her... Uh, uh, a neighbor. A neighbor. A neighbor. <laughs> but 
Okay, well, we have a... Uh, oh, special name. Oh, yeah, she's special. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, we have a, a neighbor that's special. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want him around him. And so I was like, just so we don't have those kind of issues, just stay away from her, you know, just... Be, you know what I'm saying? Just if, if, if you don't want no problems, it won't be no problems if you just stay away from this person. But how um, you want me to practically avoid this girl at all costs in this small apartment? If I go up the stairs, if I come down the stairs or go ahead to work or if I see her outside, I got to turn around. And I go gotta the turn other around. Way. You know what I'm saying? That, yes. it, it, it just seemed like, you know what I'm saying? It was a little more controlling. That's what I was about to say, bro. Like, it's, I get it. I get where she coming from. Like, she don't want them cheating. And by all means, you shouldn't want nobody that cheat on you. But she's saying real controlling, bro. Like, you got to be here. You got to do this. You got to do that. Like, man, ladies, if you listen, that's, that shit don't work. You can try it all you want. But if he want to do it, if that's what he want to do, that's what he going to do. You can be 24 with a slim waist and fat ass, but he'll find a 42-year-old cougar with 10 kids busting it open and stay over there every night. You cannot force a man. You can't force us to do shit. You can't force us to do anything. Then, you know what I'm saying, her you just you know, respecting me or, 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 or trusting me, you know? Okay, so wait, wait, wait. Just one question. So you didn't mind her giving you a heads up about it, right? Yeah. But what you didn't like is, and if you see her, I don't even want you to look at her. You come back in the house and she goes yeah, like, all that. Like you I, didn't like we had a neighbor, no me and my friend hung out with her and uh, the female, the special female and her cousin. They came over, you know, and I, it's not my house. It's, I, I can't tell them to leave or none of that. So I, was, I sat there for a minute and, and conversated with the owner of the house. And then I was like, all right, we got to go, you know what I'm saying, because they up here, you know. Well, later I'm doing um, a neighbor's hair. How much later? Like, uh, like t two days later. It well, was two like, days later. like two days later, I'm doing a neighbor's hair, and she's feeling me in how he was with the neighbor and the girls and all this stuff. And then when I come outside my house, like, to, I, I'm, I stopped doing her hair to ask them about it. He in the doorway with the girl that I told him don't be around smoking a black a mile or something, or smoking a cigarette or something. Right. Mr. Mr. Stays. Mr. Stays. <laughs> Mr. Stays, just can you crawl, could you put your hand over that top part? <laughs> oh, <laughs> can you, oh, do you want to do I'm, that? No, because I'm, I'm telling you, you got to feel it. Look, I'm telling you, I'm not guilty. I, swear, I promise you that. Okay, okay. why are you with so this I, woman? Why are you with okay. the woman your wife is specifically said? No! She opened the door and was like, oh, I see how y'all doing it, how this going now. I'm like, I'm not even doing anything to her. I'm not hugged up with her. I'm not touching on her. I, she kept, just so happened to come outside and didn't have no cigarette to, to smoke or anything. So I and just let, gave her the let, black and I was going to get up and leave. Let the girl go find the cigarettes. She know how to find cigarettes. She was finding cigarettes before she met you. <laughs> with her broke self. <laughs> Mr. Cutler, let's look at these accusations. We got, she found him in another woman's car and she dragged him out by the hair. My personal favorite. <laughs> Mine's too. She also told him specifically to stay away from this particular special neighbor. Then you've got that they've not been out on dates. Mm -hmm. Their sex life has decreased. And I'm sure because of sex life decreased, she's like, well, if he ain't doing it with me, who's he doing with? Right. Am I right? Right. And so, and this one-time happy marriage, friends with benefits, friends that become lovers, friends that become husband and wife, all of that is at risk. And if you find out he's cheating, you're done? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard because we got two kids together. I don't want to lose it, but at the same time, I don't want to be miserable either. All right. Well, in order to get to the truth, this court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court will call former military interrogator, Lena Sisko. Ms. Sisko, good day. How are you? I am well. How are you, Your Honor? Doing fine. It's good to see you. Good. Good to see you as well. We've got Mr. and Mrs. Staves here trying to figure out whether this marriage is going forward or not. Tell us what you did to investigate this case. Well, I first had the accused write a witness statement, and I analyzed it for any indicators of deception and truthfulness. And I studied their case file, and I put together an interrogation strategy, and then I interrogated Mr. Staves to see if he was cheating. As it pertains to Mr. Staves and this special female neighbor, uh, what did you uncover? 
When I asked Mr. Saves about the female neighbor, he told me that he was at an apartment of another tenant and the female neighbor showed up. Then he told me I was not trying to get up on the neighbor, meaning I wasn't trying to have sex with the neighbor. And while he was saying this, he was shaking his head no. So verbally he's saying no, non-verbally he's saying no. So that's congruent behavior, which is indicative of truthfulness. My so God. you don't believe he slept with the neighbor? No, I don't, Your Honor. Because My no God. Of deception. Okay. All right. So the fact that his behavior, what he was saying matched what his body was doing. Correct. Is what you rely on to make that determination. Correct. All right. So what did you learn about the woman at the store where he got dragged out of the car? When I asked Mr. Saves about that woman at the store, he was very open with me. So again, providing a lot of detail, so I didn't have to probe for the information. And then he told me that he did have an affair with that woman, and it just ended a couple months ago. Oh. Ms. Daves? Yeah. You just heard from our expert that your husband admitted he had an affair with the woman that you saw him with at the store. What's going through your mind? This is really embarrassing, and you could have been real with me. You know, I'm probably the only person that, uh, like, if you had been real, I would have understood. Like, if you got to... Mr. Staves, I'm not sure you understand that marriage means one person, regardless yeah. of what's going on. And, and when you're in a marriage, when things are bad, I mean, everything ain't always been as lovely as you see with me and Mr. Cutler here. We've been married 30 years. But what you don't do is take those bumps to somebody else to take care of. You stay at home and say, look, I'm mad at you. I'm not happy with you. What are we going to do about it? I've that before, Your Honor, several times over, you know. Then it... maybe you all don't need to be together. I mean, there's some... Because I... Th th there's some <laughs> marriages that just don't work out for whatever reason. Man, I don't understand why I'm bro in there wasting our time. He came in there with the not guilty shirt. I was halfway backing him up. Y'all hit the like button a couple times. Everything was going fine. Then he going to sit up. Then you going to confess. If you was going to confess, you should have just did that before y'all even got there, bro. Because like she said, and like I be telling y'all, if you keep it a 1,000, it's a 50-50. You don't know how she going to respond. She can be like, all right, cool. I know I've been being a B-I-T-C-H for the past. <clears throat> Damn, maybe I'm not supposed to say that. I know I've been being a little bit unruly for the past, you know, two years or something like that. So I understand why he had want to go out and do whatever he did. But you gotta give you you have to give her that opportunity. If you sit up here and tell her no, 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 I didn't, no, 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 I didn't, and she looking at the proof, cause trust me, they got that proof. She probably got it in a notepad. She probably don't even have it in her iPhone. She probably got a little mini notepad or something that you flip open, and she like, damn, this is week fourteen. What? out of date she dated she time stamp it all of that stuff bro they do all of that stuff so she looking at it like all right cool this this and this not adding up and as men bro let's just keep it 100 we not aware like that like as men bro we out here we go to work we come home try to get something to eat you might work out a little bit you might go to target you might run to the store doctor dentist appointment every seven months or something but we don't really do 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 a whole lot we don't really do a whole lot so we not really up here like that with it but they are bro and the crazy part about it is like i said it's not only just him and her that's going to suffer it's going to be the family they got a daughter together she said that the daughter helped him propose to the mother and all of that stuff like man that's going to be a traumatic situation traumatic and like i said if he'd have just kept it 100 and said you know what i did do this i did do that you never know man but do you cheat <laughs> i love y'all man we out